My name's Joseph Shane. I'm an EDM and pop artist. I'm from Regina, Saskatchewan, and uh, I'm an emerging artist. So, I uh, started doing music throughout my entire life. I was playing piano, drums, uh, involved in different bands and, and choirs and whatnot. I went into theater, got a theater degree, and pandemic happened. Couldn't do theater, so I'd been writing music throughout my college years, and it seemed like the best opportunity to start switching my focus from from the theater to to music. So, just got started this year, as far as trying to <laughs> uh, try to get an audience, I suppose. Uh, so, as far as music goes, I've uh, I've written a lot of songs, and I'm I'm, I'm currently continuing to write songs, but. Uh, I've been working with my brother and we've been, uh, he's been producing some songs for me and we've been releasing those. So we have a, a handful of songs uh, so far and hoping to do some more. Uh, my career aspirations would be, I'm, a, I'm an actor. I've trained in the theater. Uh, I'd like to also do some acting for film. Uh, who knows, maybe I'd get into some writing or directing eventually, that'd be nice. Uh, but I'm also a musician. I am a songwriter and a singer and It'd be nice to be able to uh, get an EP out or, or, or an album eventually and collaborate with a bunch of different artists, that uh, both local and, and abroad. Yeah, so my, my experience with theatre, um, I, I suppose it informs my writing process a little bit. I don't know if it informs it or if it's just that it's a mutual interest, but I'm, I like writing with alliteration and kind of some poetic symbolism. Uh, in my lyrics that I kind of pride myself in. Um, so I suppose, you know, if you do a look at Shakespeare, he has a lot of alliteration and uh, you're trying to, you're, you're trained to look for that because it can show where meaning is derived. So I suppose in that sense, I guess also in just a stage presence sense, I, I have the advantage of, of training for that, being in front of an audience and the memorization and the and the uh, performance aspect of that. Cut My heart put it out on ice That's what it felt like When you me, I'm dead I'm dead to you, that's what you said At 2 a.m. I was in bed You were with friends at a party as high as the sky You brought me down low I overdosed on you You were with friends at a party could live our whole lives looking back on all those times I messed up in the city I'm sorry I did that, I know I was wrong Go ahead, pour another drink Cause I'm thinking that's all you'll ever be good at Have some more You were with friends at a party as high as the sky You brought Put it out on ice That's what it felt like When you told me I'm dead 
so High as the Sky, I wrote that last year uh, in summer 2020. Everyone was kind of locked down. There wasn't very much going on. And I wrote that. I was just sitting at the piano one day. I wasn't too sure if it was going to be a song that I'd end up recording or not, but, but I'm glad I did. Um, it, it changed quite a bit, and I liked the direction we took with that song. Uh, that song was kind of based off some... Um, it was actually originally written as a duet. So the second verse was supposed to be um, sung by someone else, but time didn't allow for that to to happen, so that's okay. Um, I think it still works as a as a solo song. But yeah, it was kind of based off this, this experience I had in... Hmm, it was 2017, where I was just laying in bed. Yeah, I got, I got a phone call or a text, can't remember which one it was, but uh, I, I was informed by someone who was not doing very well, I think they, I think they were high, and uh, told that yes, I was in fact, I was, a, I was dead to that person. <laughs> so that was kind of a, uh, and I was just like, I was tired. <laughs> That's not exactly what you wanna hear at two in the morning. Uh, but yeah, that song is kind of just based off that. As far as lyrics go, what inspires uh, my music would be um, some, of, some of it's based off past experience. Other times it's, I'll, I'll take a past experience that, uh, how I felt about a past experience and then I'll kind of change the circumstances under which it actually took place and maybe elaborate or, or, or switch things up so that I can show in a more interesting way how I, how I felt. Um, as far as genre-wise goes, I suppose I've had a bunch of different artists have inspired me over the years. Um, I was a big Sam Shuey fan uh, growing up, and Sam Shuey, he sings with a lot of um, vibrato and runs. Uh, so some of my music has that. I also like Strome and uh, Post Malone. They both have a lot of uh, more percussive uh, lyrics. I'm also a drummer, so maybe maybe the percussive lyrics kind of come from that too. I like seeing what kind of patterns I can do with that. So my songwriting process, I sit at the piano for a long time. <laughs> it, it Lots of the time it happens in the afternoon or in the evening, but Really, whenever I um, get the chance, I'll I'll write. I used to write at col in college when I'd have a, have a break. I'd find a piano and write, or uh, if I was working at camp or just at home. And lots of the time, you sit there and you kind of pluck away and you write something, and it's complete garbage, and you throw it away and you forget about it, and that's really frustrating. But other times, the spirit almost takes you, and you can't stop writing like you you you're you're discovering what's going to come next and and then if someone's trying to interrupt you they're like oh i got you need to do this thing it's like no leave me alone i cannot because if i if i leave this i will never find it i'll like kind of use my note app on my phone and i'll write my lyrics out maybe some chords and i'll uh record my voice just on that that voice recorder app and try to remember what the melody is. And then uh, if, if the song isn't bad, if I, if I don't get annoyed with it, because it can be you know catchy and it can still be annoying. So if, if, it's, if it's decent, then I'll, uh, I'll try to make kind of a demo on Ableton. And if I like that, I'll send it to my brother and my brother will uh, expand upon that. And maybe we'll throw that out and do something very different. The key might change, the tempo might change. We might add lyrics, take away lyrics. Um, so the song really isn't done until it's in everyone else's ears because I could be singing it for years one way and then it might change. So. Made it on the gram, yeah girl, all them kids, they follow you. Thought I had you four years ago, drink them all alone. Now I'm just a digit on your visits, yeah, but you don't know the truth The way I like you Yeah, I passed you at the party 
didn't speak to me Yeah, I ignore you too Cause we're too proud to say we're sorry It was too complicated Or that's how we made it Always come a flying solo Body hits the ground, don't hear a sound Nobody needs to know When ellipses is the goal We're living in the silence With our heart it as a home Made it on the gram, yeah, girl, all them kids, they follow you Thought I had you four years ago, drink, I'm all alone Now I'm just a digit on your visits, yeah, but you don't know The truth, the way I like you Go, you're so cool, no, you're cold Made it on the gram, yeah, girl, all them kids, they follow you Thought I had you four years ago, drink, I'm all alone Now I'm just a digit on your visits, yeah, but you don't know The truth Never made my move, yeah Never try to lose every time, yeah, I lose you Yeah, I lose you Yeah, so Lose You is, I wrote that uh, this year, 2021, 20, uh, summer. That was an interesting song. Lots of the song I wrote all at once, and then I was having problems with the uh with the second verse and i felt like it had to be really long so i wrote it really long and then it wasn't going to work in the studio so we were actually in the studio and we we're like this is just too long so then we were we recorded everything but we ended up cutting out most of that second verse because it was just it was going to make the song kind of lopsided uh that song was uh kind of inspired by um instagram obviously i guess i have Graham right in the lyrics um and you you see people that you know maybe you like and and they're you get this idea that they have some higher social status because uh, maybe they take really good photos or they have a lot of uh, a lot of likes or a lot of um followers and that can get to your head and you think well I'm I'm fairly insignificant. There, there's no reason this person would ever really uh, see any reason to talk to me. So um, it was kind of a song written about kind of just a reflection on how our quote unquote social status changes over time, even with people that you might have, you know, liked in the past or had a crush on or something. I have a lyric in there that when ellipses is the goal. Um, and and that, that idea is that, you know, um, a lack of communication can be, we feel uncomfortable talking about how we really feel, you know, if you tell somebody that you really like them or that they make you feel this way or that we don't want to let our, our guard down. So that song is a little bit about not being able to communicate how you feel in a relationship and then having that social media status and, and maybe, um, yeah, that, so that social media says also being like an element that kind of caused people to be depressed or anxious about their own self-image or social status. So what's next for me? That's a good question. I'd like to release an EP. I have a lot of songs that are in the demo phase. So 
we might see more sad, miserable, melancholy songs come out of that. Um, I'd like to shoot some more music videos. Um, I'd like to direct some music videos, but I, I, I don't know if that's going to be possible to direct and, and, sh and be in my own music videos. That might be a little bit much. So maybe I'll find someone to do that for me. Um, I, I think it's partly um, the COVID situation and, and government lockdowns and whatnot will be a large factor in what direction everyone's career goes in these days. If you can do some live shows, I'd love to do some live shows. I don't know if I have the status to do a live show. I need, I need some more fans. <laughs> but if I could get some more fans, then maybe we'll have a live show. But other than that, I think I think probably releasing regular singles and uh, maybe an EP will be what we're striving for, at least as far as music goes.